afternoon and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. I'm going to do another um, day of beer and this one is Dust My Broom. This is a pale ale weighing at 5.8% ABV. Uh, it was canned on the 31st of July 20 and it's best before the 1st of uh, 31st of January 21. So it's about 8-9 days old. It's the 9th of August. So there we go. It says that there. Um, it says on the side here, Dust My Broom is a bright, juicy, biscuity pale, packed full of Simcoe hops. This pale ale delivers a beautiful balance between a fuller, more rounded malt profile and heady Simcoe hops. With a little bit of Simcoe, a little bit of citra hot side to back it up. Travel whole piney and balanced, is what it says. And on the front, the label on the front, it's basically a broom sweeping up some hops. Nice. So let's, uh, let's pop a top and let's see what we've got. This is a vegan friendly beer, as most of day of beers are. Let's get it in a glass. Here we go. So, beer in a glass, what have we got? We've got ourselves a hazy orange, light orange, dark yellow coloured beer, gold coloured maybe, <coughs> depending on how you like it, gold of course. Um, two fingers, densely compact, very soapy, white head. It looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. Let's get a nose. Let's see what we can smell. Let's go for it. Definitely getting malt. There's a little, there's a nice malty malty aroma there. Grapefruit, orange. That smells lovely. Bit of pine, maybe. Okay, do let's go for the uh, body carbonation. Cheers. Light bodied, medium carbonation, a uh, short sharp, like pins and needles, bubbles. Very nice. It's got a lovely, lovely mouthfeel to it. This is gonna go down a treat, I guarantee it. Right, let's go for the big taste. Cheers. Opens up with a light malt taste. Then this, this, the little bits of grapefruit and pith start to pop off. And then again, there's a nice um, light pine finish. It's not it's not massively in your face, which is good. It's it's a subtle beer for me. I, uh, the back end, the piney, resiny, dry finish kind of builds and builds and builds and layers there's an earthiness to this beer as well on the, on the back or towards the back certainly it's it's got that distinctive sort of daya style to it you know there's sort of sometimes sometimes brew dog well initially brew dog had, had went through a phase of a certain style to it there's a funkiness to brew dog this is simply you can tell this is a daya beer It's lovely. It's a really nice pale ale. Fruity, juicy, but they are quite light flavours for me. Um, but I'm not taking it away. It's well, it's, it's very good. Again, if I was offered this at a friend's house, I'd be quite happy to drink this. If I had this in it on, the, on tap, if I think it's on tap, it's probably, this would probably be beautiful on tap. Very nice, very nice indeed. Is it one of day's best? No. But it's well made. It's a solid pale ale. It tastes better than some of the pale ales I've had, I must admit. There are better pale ales out there. There are a lot worse pale ales out there. Yeah, it's very good. Very good. So, I'm going to wrap this up then. Day is Dust My Broom Pale Ale 5.8. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Probably not. I prefer Day's IPAs and double IPAs, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but if I was given it 
or I'm sorry, in a tap room, I'd certainly have it in a tap room. Um, excuse me. What do I recommend to friends? Yes, I always recommend most of my beers to friends. Unless they're really, really bad. So, if you've had this, let me know what you think. Comment down there, please. Uh, thumbs up for the video. Thumbs up if you don't subscribe down there. I'll put a link to the day website also below. And I think you can still buy this in a pack of six for about between 25 and 30 quid. Um, so it's a little bit steep. Um, so there you go. So you know, I'll say, let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Nice hot day. Stay safe. Stay alert. Hell yeah.